Two people are moving towards you. Don't shoot, they are ours. This is hell. I swear, this is a living hell. When a shell is approaching, I can smell its potential. You see, it's really terrifying. In three days, all my life flashed before my eyes. I relived it all. I recalled everything I could have recalled. And I kept praying, too. Although, before I came here, to me, God was like something out there. Now I have tons of crucifixions and icons. I mean it. I've changed, faith-wise. Just imagine, a sober man is sitting in a pit, and there's nobody around. If a mine hits your pit, that's it, you're gone. And you simply start praying. At least I do. I say three times, God save me, God save me, God save me. Guardian angel, save me, save me and all my kin. And that's all you say. You've never done it before, but all of a sudden, you start crossing yourself like crazy and praying, because you're terrified. At night, when the guys are asleep, I would wake up and read prayers. I have eight icons and two prayer books. You saw them. So I just keep praying. Once we came under shelling and we were hit, can you imagine? I used to smoke three packs a day, now it's a pack for two days. God's sacrifice is bigger than all our sins. So what's bigger, things that I have done or the fact that God died for me? Definitely the latter. And nothing else matters anymore. The only thing that's important for my life is God died for me. God truly loves me. And I begin to live. And I am reborn in this love. And love is filling me. And I know that God loves me. God loves you. God loves you. And it doesn't matter if it's Putin or not Putin, if it's a commander, a Chechen, someone else, Ukrainian or Transcarpathian, Papuan, whoever. God loves everyone. May these arms embrace people. You see, it is His heart. And may love and mercy come out of His heart. May God forgive through me. May God give through me. May God do good things through me. I was born in a village and spent my whole life there. I realized that I will be of a better use if I bake bread for people or say make oil for them. And this is what I began to do, helping people. Right now, I'm defending Ukraine. And my parents are back at home, doing their best. When I'm back, I'll keep doing my thing, helping Ukraine. You sure will. You sure will help. I just realized that if you're born in a village, that's what you're created for. And your job is to defend the country. I don't know what to do. I'm proud. I'm really proud to sit here next to you. I'm proud. But how can I kill? Defend, not to kill. We don't kill them. We defend our land, our children. But what should I do? I don't want to kill them. 
I don't want that either. What if they don't stop? I know what I have to do. It's just I don't want to kill them. I don't want that either. If enemies come at your door, you must stop them. And to stop them, sometimes you have to kill them. Well, I'm doing this job. And this is not a sin. It is not. In this act of communion, there is unity with Christ, the one who died for me. I do it in remembrance of him. And it is for him that I love, and my heart and my life is in his hands. This is what we are saying, taking communion, taking this bread and wine. My life is in your hands, dear God. Jesus, you are my Lord. And may it be that way forever. Help me to have a noble life. To my very last breath. Once it touches your lips, it takes all your transgressions away and cleans out all your sins. Get the cans, and off you go to the tanks. We bless Ukraine, and we bless everyone who is fighting, whoever is fighting on that side. May they wake up from this nightmare. May propaganda have no influence over them anymore. Boys, if this is okay with you, I would like to sanctify this place and the position. Yeah, sure. Go ahead, Father. May God bless you. Live and stay in good health. See you. God will give us victory this year. God will give us all we need. God will give us all we need. Let me give you a hug. Keep up your spirits. God is merciful. Thank you. See, there is a tree, blue and yellow colors, peaceful skies above our heads. Yes, this is a man. You see, it shows peaceful life. How holy and wonderful our Jesus is. He's not exactly like this, of course. He's much better. And this is his image.
So, how much more potatoes do I need to peel? We've got to sweep the floor, too. Potatoes ready. God bless Ukraine. Bless it with peace. Bless all neighboring countries. Bless people who love you. Bless all those who open their hearts to compassion. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Oh, it's so tasty. Thank you.